I presume we are live. I hope you're all well, having a great day, and um, it's great to be back on stream this evening. Hope you're all well, and uh, having a good Tuesday. I'm not sure what team to play tonight, so we've got a few teams in contention to play on stream tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun, regardless, whatever. Um, and I've got a new setup because I'm in a new room, so <laughs> hopefully the camera and the mic and everything's all right. Uh, I think I don't have any music on though, so should probably get some Muzak on to kick us off this evening, which will be a lot more fun. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I've got a few teams to play tonight. So uh, th there is this one that I do really like, and I think it could be a lot of fun to play. So Shininja. Um, we've also got the Edu team. Yorine, how are you doing, my friend? I hope you're well, having a good day. Hope everything is going well. And um, I hate to dread to ask the question but have the teas arrived and yes got the green screen because I've, I've moved in with Tash now so I'm sharing her studio she kindly allowed me to come in here which is good that looks a bit weird so the lights are definitely to get the green screen on and to highlight myself but <laughs> hopefully you get used to it hopefully it's not too bad um, but yeah so it's it's kind of exciting and I can put different backdrops in so it can make me look like I'm anywhere in the world which is always good um, even though I'm stuck here and Nick hello how are you doing my friend hope you are well green screen <laughs> green screen Johnny we can go anywhere you want my friend I hope you're well though mate um, as I was saying I've got a few teams so we've got um, it's kind of like a, a rehash of Justin Burns team that he played this past weekend. So we could play this team with the Volcarona. Uh, very, very good build. I've got this Sheninja build that I really like. Both got Groudon in, interestingly. Or we've got the Edu team. So we can have a, a pick from that. But the Sheninja one's probably my kind of pick. I kind of like to play around with this because I think Sheninja is like totally crazy and, and funny. So. It could be, it could be, bring some shenanigans tonight. Now you can put on your, put on yourself in battles. <laughs> Not all your room, I know, yeah, right? <laughs> it's way better, it looks way cleaner, I think. It looks just a lot cleaner altogether, so hopefully it's a lot better. Um, and why am I still hosting Hibiki? I feel like I shouldn't be hosting Hibiki. There we go, that's better, that's better. There we go. And I like this. Excellent. I like this. Okay, so should we go with Shininja? I think that's a good idea for tonight. And you are well. Yes, that is good, Johnny. I'm pleased to hear you're well. And I hope the beard is doing well, my friend. That smart beard. Oh, what have I got? I've got two Pokemon with... Ah, okay. Uh, assault Vest on. Because I'm so stupid. Uh, okay, I tell you what we'll do. We'll play, we'll play the Justin Burns kind of team. Because this is my second favourite I go to. With the Volcarona. Volcarona is kind of cool at the minute. Um, provides a lot of support. We've got the Z-Move on it as well to nuke things. Uh, you've got the Groudon support there. Two forms of Rage Powder. So we'll go with that. And Will, how are you doing, my friend? Green screen is here. We can go anywhere you want, my friend. And tell me you have Sock on Finny. Ah, that would have been cool. But yes, I'm sorry. We'll do Shininja on Thursday because it is Viewer Battles Thursday. So that'll be a lot of fun. We've got our first opponent up today. Going to be playing a team of Dialga. Very cool. Like that already. Uh, Tabulele, Incineroar, Xerneas, Smeagol, and Araquanid. So, what are we going to do here? The Araquanid's a little bit annoying, to say the least. But, hmm. Um, Dialga. There's definitely the Trick Room in the Xerneas. I kind of like this build, to be honest. Um, we definitely need our Coco, but I don't know if I want to lead it, because the Lele could definitely be something my opponent brings in to disrupt us. Um, should we go down the, the good old route of Incineroar, Xerneas, just in case they they don't go? Hmm. Yeah, with Coco and Groudon. And we can totally change up teams as we go through the night. If you guys are sick of one team, then we can bring another team. So, we can totally do that. And your eye, no tease. This makes me so sad. I didn't get any, I'm awaiting a response from the, the post office, so 
We'll see where that goes, but I'm hoping they're with you soon. The thing that I can't understand is how Johnny received his in Italy, where I know a post takes ages to get to, and then you haven't got yours, it's like... I don't know, it makes me really sad. Really sad. It's a sad world where the GS Cup scene in Dialga is cool, not the norm. I know Johnny, right? It is sad. So we're going to see Incinera and uh, the Araquanid. I remember when I couldn't even pronounce Araquanid. I got absolutely burnt <laughs> for my first commentary experience, not being able to say Araquanid. I can't even remember how I pronounced it now either. So funny. Right, so fake out, fake out. Lots of shenanigans stuff going on. Um, we definitely need to fake out the opposing Araquanid. I don't know if I want to Geomancy just yet. I kind of expect Raw on the Incineroar. Seen as my opponent Jeffrey is leading with it, it would kind of indicate that he's using it as some sort of <clears throat> fake out. Abuse or just he's got raw there. I think he's got raw. And you're right. Well, the other ones from the circuit also took a long time. This is true. This is true. They they all have taken way longer than what I expected to take. So just I, mean, I hope they're with you soon. By the weekend would be really nice. So Arachnid gonna switch out. Tapu of the Lele gonna switch in, baiting us with those with that psychic terrain already. Here we go. There's the bits. We burned. <laughs> Faking out. Did my opponent fake out as well? <laughs> Did we both just do that? I mean, at least I've got an excuse because I wasn't expecting it. So, I guess. Okay, we'll get some nice damage onto that. I, I'm going to just U-turn out onto the Poison Incineroar. And I think I'm just going to protect good old Xerneas this turn, just to see what my opponent's up to. And Johnny, but my tea is awesome late. I liked it a lot and super high quality. The flinched is a bit plasticky, but it's very nice and shiny. That's awesome, man. I'm so happy you like it. I'm actually kind of experimenting with different gold prints at the minute because I want to get a nicer, like, matte looking one. So if I do that, I'll send you one. And, um, yeah. And do you stay late, Nick? Do I stay? Stay where, my friend? I don't I don't get the question, but it, ask me, because I've probably missed something and I'm sorry. If I have. Um okay, we'll get Can we get Groudon in? Get the sun up? I guess. My opponent's not really got too much apart from that Iraq when it's to kind of deal with it, so it makes a lot of sense to get it in right now. And Yorin, I still need a second team for IC League. Do you have any ideas similar to Ogre team I used last time? Yes, I do. Yorin, hit me up. We can uh, we can 100% talk about this. Um, I'm just gonna throw out a P blades, and I'm I feel I feel better. Like my luck will be a little bit better tonight. I'm just gonna moonblast the Lele as well. And do you sit right now? I do sit right now. I'm sitting. I'm sitting. I'm not standing. I could stand, but I'll not stand. But I am sitting. I am sitting down. I need a new chair as well. It's my old chair that I was. I kind of got this other chair that was just a spare chair in here, which is it's kind of comfortable, but at the same time, it's not. It's not the best. I'd like a real gamer chair. Go real pro gamer. So we get the lele with the, um, <clears throat> the crit moonblast to kick us off today. But uh, <laughs> your own Groudon sucks. <laughs> I can't disagree with you though in this in this. You know how I feel. I'm probably going to try Shininja for the IC. Should we after this take the the should I just put a different Incineroar in? I think that would be the best thing to do, right? I reckon it would be the best thing. And then we could play Shininja. It's up to you guys though. It's completely up to you guys. Um we will switch in Incineroar. Um because the psychic terrain's up, we can't be intimidated, so um, we can't be faked out. Um, but at the same time, I don't really want to take too much damage on Xerneas, so I'm just going to protect Dio here. Um, and Nick looks like you are standing. Does it really look like I'm standing? That's kind of cool. I guess I can get away with I'm actually standing in... Yeah. <laughs> and Scott, how are you doing, my friend? It is the return of the Mist on tonight. I hope you're well, mate. Ooh, white god. Okay. 
busting out that. And Johnny, if you want, I like Volcarona too. Excellent. Okay. I'm kind of happy with Volcarona. I think the Volk is is interesting. And Justin's... Because the team, I don't know exactly what Justin played. Like, I really don't. Um, but at the same time, Justin's such a great player. Like, a really great player. So, um, like, playing something that he's been having a, a toy around with and doing so well in a tournament, is just it's going to be a lot of fun. We get the special attack drop. Berry. So at least we know there's no Z move there. That's good. And you're right, it kind of does, except that I see you turning a bit, so it gives away it's a chair, yeah. I've got a terrible. Oh, we lose the uh, power herb. Oh, we don't need it. We honestly, like, don't need it. Um, we'll bring Coco in now, because then we can just clean up this next turn. Um. Come on, Coco. Yeah, I've got, like, you're right, I've got a terrible, a terrible habit of doing this. So this is the thing. I need to have, like, a clamp. <laughs> I need a clamp on my chair to stop me moving around. Because I can imagine, for you guys, it probably will get quite annoying. Liquidation into Coco. Minus one critical hit. In the sun. How dare you? And real animation, how are you doing? I hope you're well, my friend. Have a good day. Hope you enjoy the rest of the stream of this this evening as well. Um, let's just go Moonblast into NC and just full switch into Arachwinint. Arachwinint. And Shiro, how are you doing? Really great to see you here tonight. I hope you're well and I hope you enjoy the stream of this. And uh, we are playing a Zern Don team with uh, Volcarona in. It should be quite a lot of fun. We were going to play Shininja, but I... Stupidly put two items of the same thing in my battle box, so we can't play that one just yet unless we go back and um, change the mind around. Protect Incineroar! That's pretty nice. I like that a lot. But I mean, at this point, it's just kind of doing the stuff to close the game out, really. Um, the Vault Switch pivot. It's very nice. Or just buy a chair that doesn't turn. Yeah, but Nick, I couldn't do that, because, like, when I'm not filming and stuff, it's nice just to kind of be like, Ooh, I can spin around, and I have, I, like, I'm not one of these guys that puts my chair in the middle of the room and just <laughs> spins continuously, even though that would be the best fun ever. Um, no, but I, I kind of like the spinny aspect, so I'd have to, I guess it's in the criteria when I'm buying a chair that I would have to get. I'd have to get something with the uh, with the spinning motion motion on it. Um, okay, Zony is coming in. Um, mm, let's fake out and I mean we just moonblast the Incineroar once again. That should be enough to take it down. And Marty, how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're well. Hope you're having a good evening. And uh, Lee, <laughs> your background living in 3019. All right. <laughs> yeah, we got a green screen going on. I've moved. I've moved areas. So. Um, got this set up now, which is pretty cool. It's uh, pretty neat, um, and we'll we'll probably do lots of different shenanigans stuff with it. I actually made one for the uh, the Flinch Squad circuit review show, and it's got the, the emblem for the Flinch Squad circuit in the background. And every time I'm kind of talking, it looks like I've got a little crown from the top of the uh, the, the emblem, which is kind of funny. But yes, that was a good story. Midge, how are you doing? I hope you're well, my friend. How does anyone have moves that? move slot for protect on incineral will i know right like i would love i would love <laughs> honestly i would really love protect on incineral if i could um oh what do we do here we could could be geomancy at the same time i mean we've got four pokemon left i think we're going to be pretty much all right let's just check out groudon's health i'm pretty sure yeah groudon's full health we're going to be going to be more than fine we can just moonblast flare blitz and Almond guys, how are you doing? I hope I hope you're well. I want to see some tweets working. Yeah, we could we could maybe work that out another time. But uh, I hope you're well. And Player Door as well. How are you doing this evening, my friend? I hope you're having a good day. I hope you enjoy the stream as well. Yorin, didn't you used to have a super uncomfortable wooden chair when you first started? Yeah, I did. It was like that was when I was recording on my laptop in my kitchen. Like, yeah, that was, especially when we did like the early streams and we did like the team builder stream and stuff like that. Yeah, that was, that was way uncomfortable. 
I really miss my other chair, but I mean, it's just clogging up this room, so I'm gonna get rid of that one, and then, you know. Oh! Azern is too strong to take the boosted Zern, and we win. So good game to Jeffrey. Really nice way for us to kick off the game. Games tonight! Um, Nick, I had won a game because I had Protect and Sinor. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think me or Will are arguing that it's not good. I mean, we argue that we would probably like it on there. Like, it's just having room for it around, like, the other mainstay moves. Protect and Sinor is, like, legit. Legit. If you can squeeze it on and sacrifice something else, it's definitely useful. Johnny, I mean, you wasted the possibility to green screen news studio for the review episode since your intro. Well, this is the other thing, Johnny, so you might be surprised this week on the um, <laughs> on the review episode because the newsroom can actually come to life now and we can do some way crazy stuff. <laughs> like really crazy stuff, cringy stuff, which is all good. It's all good. And play though I'm fine, just ate some pasta. Nice. I hope it was good, my friend. And uh, real animation, Newcastle, Toon Toon, Black and White Army. We've got Florian up next as our opponent, playing the team of Kyoga, Rotom C, Tabulele Hydreigon, Sogaleo, and Heatran. Seeing a lot more Hydreigon in this format, which is really nice. And uh, Yoren, I like the new green screen setup. It's just that it looks a bit grey. I think it's because I've got like a checkerboard thing going on in the background, so there's like grey and black kind of spots. But yeah. Um, and Nick, the best player is not playing in Cineral. <laughs> okay, so, right, let's see. What are we going to do against this? But like I say, lots of uh, Hydreigon kicking around at the minute. It's kind of heavy on the uh, the old Xerneas counters, but I mean, the Xerneas counters don't like Groudon either, so. Um, hmm. If we can get Zern set up, that's, that's super nice. I feel like you probably want to lead... Heatran. I don't really want to bring Volk here though. Um, let's bring. Let's bring. Let's bring. I think my opponent probably baits in the. Uh, I'm gonna lead Coco and Zen for sure. We definitely 100% need Groudon, and I think we need Incineroar as well. So we'll go with those four. Zaxo Gamer. I hope you're well. Hope you enjoy the stream tonight with us, and thanks for dropping by. Fabian, my friend, how are you doing? Has resubscribed. Thank you so much, my friend, and uh, I hope you're well. Having a great day, and I hope you do enjoy the stream with us tonight. Guys, just a reminder for all of you that are around right now, we have viewer battles this Thursday, so if you are around this Thursday and you want to come on, play me on stream, I know there are a lot of big events going on this weekend so that's purposely why we've done it for thursday so do come around it will be kicking off at seven not like tonight half past seven we'll be doing seven and we got a new follow i need to uh i wish my wish my alerts because my screen is so small i'm gonna have to wait till it comes up in here and do this delayed like thank you for following but here we go Zaxo Gamer, thank you so much for following there. It's so cringy that I'm doing that. And I'm running out of time so badly. Um, okay, so we've got Kyogre, Hydreigon. Um, we could go Light Screen Protect. It's not a bad play. Uh, we're probably going to see a Tailwind. Um, and I didn't pay any attention to what the Kyogre came out with Rain. I'd imagine in this sort of team, though, it's probably... I'm just going to go Light Screen and... Actually, I'm not. I'm going to go Volt Switch. And just Protect. Good old Xerneas. And good to hear you are well, Zaxel. I'm doing really well. Thank you very much, my friend. And Johnny, oh shoot, I don't have memes ready for Thursday. You need to get the memes ready, Johnny. You know we're relying on you heavily here for the memes. So I'll protect the Zern. You see Zern and you leave Hydreigon. I know, it's crazy. Akram, how are you doing? I hope you are well. And he, this this guy, he's got all the style points, definitely likes to live on the edge. We'll bring in um, NC. NC Wincy. Because I'll be able to take anything that Hydra again. Although it could go for an Earth Power, cheeky Earth Power. He's probably going to Tailwind though, I think. Z Belch, in my opinion. That would be... Ooh, he's going for the roll. It must be Sashed. Like, it has to be Sashed. We'll get Groudon in, get this... 
get rid of this rain. Hmm. Akram Hamadi, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. And I, ho like I say, I hope you enjoy the stream with us all this evening. Uh, I'm going to just U-turn out onto the Lele. Um, actually, the Hydreigon, I think, now feels probably quite safe to throw out an attack. So I'm going to U-turn out on that slot. I'm going to switch Groudon out back into Coco. It's not Scarf I saw, right? Thank you, Will. That, that, that helps me out. If I was actually paying attention, I would know that. 100%. Tapu JJ. I hope you're well, my friend. There's a the Moonblast. Never understand Raw and a Pokemon that obliterate. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree with you there. There's a the Tailwind coming out right now. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Nah. Completely. Like, I totally agree. It's like, it has to be Sashed. It has to be Sashed, Hydreigon. And it's probably got... Um, Flash Cannon or something. <laughs> Along those lines, I would imagine to support it that way um but we'll see we'll see i think we're going to be in a pretty nice position to get our, our geomancy up now though so i don't think we need to um we need to worry about that we'll just give an old protect to Xerneas, uh we'll bring incineroar back in for the tapu Koko. yeah and i think it's probably scarfed lele as well you're on you're probably right you didn't miss much nick um, Hydreigon has Roll. <laughs> and well, Sashed Hydreigon doesn't get a player right by Xerneas. <laughs> this is true. This is true. You can take any Moonblast. Any, even, even Z Geomancy to Moonblast. So strong. Stronger. But Hydreigon's cool. I just, I, yeah, it, it sucks a little bit that it's, um, I don't necessarily agree with that play too much. Because now you're giving me... I think if you do anything here, you need to switch the Lele out. Because it's obvious that I can get the Incineroar in for free now, pretty much. And then I've got the Fake out. And with the Lele out on the field with the Electric Trainer, there's not much my opponent can do to stop us setting up. I mean, especially if the Lele throws out a Moonblast now, you, it kind of really gives the gives the game away that it's scarfed. And um, can't taunt or Magic Room or any of those other shenanigans that you would kind of expect from it. I mean a Moonblast still into Xerneas is still going to do a lot but we can easy fake out the Kyogre and get around it that way. Viscord, how are you doing my friend? Hope you're well and uh, having a good day and thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream of us all. Uh, Yorine, I see stream yes or no? Unfortunately probably not. Maybe Sunday um, that will be the day, if I have a day that I can do it, it will be. We've got friends up this weekend, so um, I'm not going to be able to do anything on Saturday, um, unfortunately. Um, but Sunday, 100%. Um, that would be actually quite nice, because I probably not have um, too much time to play before that. And I always like playing the ICs, where you leave it till the last day, and then you do the, the last minute grind. At least we didn't get the special attack drop there with the... Um, the moon blast okay so we get the geomancy up um and nick probably not if i can record some episodes i'll definitely record them like i probably prefer from playing the ic to stream it so um is it 30 games or is it more is it 45 this time i get i never know what, what we're going for um okay we'll protect i mean tailwind's up scoffed yeah we need to we need to see out this tailwind which is just one more turn um do we need coco for anything probably not i'd rather sack coco than incinero at this point as well and it's 45 thank you so much guys three days so 45 games in one session <laughs> could we do it could we do it we could try we could definitely try i'd be up for it be a so such a grind we could play some tetris 99 in between that might be kind of nice get the switch set up alongside it and do that i'm still yet to play tetris 99 <laughs> 90 games <laughs> two games at once simultaneously yeah that that's the way to do it shiny bulu is all right we gotta wait for shiny finny since no one runs bulu i know right shiny finny is gonna be amazing and midge i love tetris 99 i'm i'm still really looking forward to playing it ah oh, here we go 
here we go with the Kyogre and its Waterium. Good job we protected here. Shiny Bulu does look nice. I prefer it to regular Bulu. Like, definitely. I like all the shiny Tapus, to be honest. They're all they're all really nice. Shiny Finny will be good, because I know I'll get like a lot of use out of it as well. Um, and Viscord still... Still got my... Uh, <coughs> My shiny Tapulele that he's kindly said I could have. That I need to... I'm so bad at actually catching up with him to, to, to take it. Nigel, how are you doing, my friend? I hope you're well. Right. Where's the Hydreigon going to come in? And what's my opponent got on the back? Uh, they got two floaters. They got one floaty Pokemon. Um, okay, we'll go Moonblast into Kyogre. No, we need to, we need to nuke the... Um, Oh, well, a Dazzle will get the Lele for sure. For sure. And we'll just Precipice Blades as well. Like, the Hydreigon comes in, it gets donked. Yeah, we got the Lele. The Kyogre probably Origin Pulses here. Oh, we actually outspeed it. Okay. Huh. I didn't expect that, but... That helps! So, yeah, that's game. Now... <laughs> Johnny man you're good thanks Johnny did anyone see Johnny's tweet yesterday with his flint shirt on and how good a beard he has I never realised I never realised Johnny had the beard that I've always wanted <laughs> I've got a, I was saying to Johnny as well I was like I've got a thing about beards because um, I just I just can't really grow one myself a proper one so when I see a nice beard, I'm like, ah, oh, it's a nice beard. It's a nice beard. And Lee, how fast is your Groudon? Um, hmm, not very fast, Yorin. Um, like, like it's not minimum speed, but it's, I think it might be the 28 IV one in this team. Pretty sure it is. I may have changed it. How are you going to protect? I guess Heatran's going to try and do something. But, I mean, we're going to tech tectonic rage it and it's fine like it's all fine and pokemon love the johnny flinch beard top <laughs> it is good isn't it it is marty we, we, we're waiting we are awaiting a flinched pick for you pinko pulled out a great one this morning <laughs> i kind of wanted i realized this morning as well you can't retweet with a picture another picture so you can't put another picture on a retweet picture which is like a bit sad because i wanted to put that the retweet the the picture that he put out of his like avatar with these aromatis because it's just it's just so good okay good game to my opponent um we're able to wrap this one up i think even with the heavy duty xerneas stuff in the team it kind of shows that like just playing around it um it's always it's always a possibility. That's why Xerneas is so good, isn't it? Um, but I do agree with what Chappy JJ says. I don't think like if, if something gets raw and you can utilize it in front of a Pokemon, like to, to maybe get rid of them and raw them out. It's not really the best idea to do it on something that's four times weak to that said Pokemon. Uh, Hydreigon is a great Pokemon, but it's not something I would want to bring to a Xerneas matchup. I think it's there for the more niche matchups that you've got to cover. Um, the things that you maybe are lacking a little bit in the team so I don't know I don't know and my beard is much greyer than Johnny's um, Marty any beard is a good beard take it from me my friend and Nigel so I've been doing ultra series practice pretty hard and miss stuff right now Nigel how is the ultra series going though it's good that you're starting early like really good um because it's not very long until we actually kick into it. What was it, like five, six weeks maybe? It's crazy that it's coming along so, so, so soon. And Drake on Dude, I haven't said good evening to you. I hope you're well. Hope you enjoy the stream with us tonight. And uh, yeah, I love Ultra Series. Um, I was talking to Craig last night and just saying, like, it's going to be, the, I think, the best out of all three. Like, I'm looking forward to getting Megas back, which is really odd for me to say because I'm not the biggest fan of Megas, but I think the format's so diverse as well. You've got so many options in there. Um, it's going to be incredible. 
yeah, I really, I wish they'd released the ladder earlier so we could kind of practice on it prior to it being released. That's the only thing, but I guess it's just facilities and stuff like that. We've got Groudon Palkia as our next opponent uh, with Tapu Koko. Stack attacker, that good old Shininja that we were going to bring tonight, and Chris Elliott. So, um, quite a nice combination of Pokemon here. I always like the Groudon Palkia uh, restricted combo. They cover each other very nicely, um, except against uh, Xerneas. But you've got Stack attacker in there. You've got Shininja in there that doesn't do a bad job. Um, okay, so I think we go. There's no Intimidate as well, which is kind of interesting. You've got to imagine that Chris Elliott's probably going to try and do some skill swap shenanigans kind of makes me want to bring amoongus to this match um let's just see what we've got for and i'm sure we've got rage powder as well which is also nice it stops kind of the um i'm gonna go volcarona i'm gonna go xerneas i'm gonna go groudon and i think incineroar yeah let's go with those four and let's see Nigel like coco and mega gengar is giving me <laughs> flashbacks I can imagine and uh, my gripe at the moment is so much stuff that would have been 2000s speed tiers and could maybe play what I'm missing I'm missing the chat uh, can maybe play a bit of bulk in speed uh, okay yeah I guess it's just gonna take a little bit of getting used to and just adjusting a little bit and Johnny I was having a discussion with Stu earlier on the discord server what do you think about mega sectile and mega septile and ultra will it be better than a VGC 16 Quite possibly, quite possibly. It still suffers versus Xerneas, which is a little bit of a which is a little bit of a shame. But I mean Yeah, it's it's not it's got a lot of potential, I think, definitely. Um mm, this is awkward, isn't it? I mean the Palkia we get. Stack attacker probably sets Trick Room up. Do we go Moonblaster or do we bring an Incineroar and then just try and donk the park here with a Moonblast? Um, we're probably better off preserving Groudon for the moment and just going for that donk. I mean, we can't stop the Trick Room. So that's one thing. In this position, how we've led, it's kind of... But the, the stoppers on that. So let's see, at least we get the Intimidate, and we'll be able to take a Gyro Ball. Okay, so, just a good old Flamethrower. We might just see a Rock Slide. Might expect the Rage Powder from Volcarona, which would make a lot of sense, um, just to get damage off onto it. Chip, maybe a Sash on there. We are able to get the Palkia, yeah? Gyro Ball, yeah. Okay, so, we'll take this. I mean, <laughs> just taking it. Thank you so much for the the horse type pod hope you're well having a good evening thanks for joining the stream tonight as well my friend and uh hope you enjoy it with us tonight um drake and dude psychic spam is pretty spook and ultra terrain boosted ultra necrozma is terrifying yeah ultra necrozma is actually so interesting it's such a it's like a, a super good pokemon um okay we'll fake out tapa de coco um actually I feel like a rock slide's coming from this stack attacker. Uh, uh, yeah, fake at stacks, and I'm gonna just bring in Groudon. It seems like a good time to bring the Groudon in front of this rock slide user and uh, electric type Pokemon. Um, signature Z move for Groudon that is like Groudon Z. Gives it plus one accuracy too, yeah. Um, it's just at speed here, like, it's just, that one point slower than Tapu Koko. I can imagine, um, wow, okay, what was that? Was that hidden power? Um, I have no idea what it was. Well, we've got Precipice Blades now, so we can go P Blades. I kind of want to get rid of the stack attacker more than anything. I'm just going to U-turn out on Koko. Um, yeah, we'll do that. I expect a wide guard here, maybe. Yeah, wide guard. And Will, having played a game, I can tell you Ultra Necrozma is weak. It loses to level 1. <laughs> Zoro are toxic. <laughs> it's so weak. It's so bad. But, um, yeah. I do like it, though. If it was like, I think Twinkle, depending on how popular it gets, like Twinkle Tackle, Tapu Koko could be pretty decent. Uh, let's bring in Volk. 
All our Pokemon are pretty low health. I know we're going to pick up a knockout here, but... <clears throat> our Pokemon aren't in the best of shape. What happened to Groudon there? Did Groudon literally just flinch? I'm sure it did. Is that Coco? I'm like, literally, what? <laughs> what just happened? Uh... Okay. Um, right, we'll switch in. Is it got, is it holding the King's Rock? I, I for real? <laughs> really? Battle spot for all the memes. All the time, <laughs> Flinch Squad. Yeah, if you're a true Flinch Squad member, you, you run King's Rock on anything you can. It's definitely on one Pokemon in your team. And uh, Drake and Dude, I thought my first Ultra Team was pretty neat until I realised half of it gets outsped by and occurred by Earth Power Ultra Necrozma. Man, that is scary, isn't it? Like, okay, we're gonna see. Oh, Groudon come in now. This has just got like way more difficult because we need our Groudon to deal with the stack attacker later on. Um, we do have Fake Out. <laughs> We're gonna have to pick up the Groudon and bring in um, Volcarona and hope the sun stays up and then we can nuke either the Coco or the Groudon and keep our Groudon around. <clears throat> I can't believe <laughs> we got flinched by a grass knot. <laughs> grass knot flinch. <laughs> that shouldn't even be a thing. <laughs> oh man. Uh, right, what do we want to get rid of here? I think I want to get rid of the Groudon and then just nuke the Coco with the Flare Blitz. Let's go, overheat. Inferno Overdrive. At least we get some use out of this Volcarona now, which would be really nice. As we see, like, but well, the Coco's got the, yeah, unless it flinches us again, it should be devastating. Discharge. I'm not going to say anything to jinx us. Okay, at least we weren't paralyzed. At least the Volcarona wasn't paralyzed. That was the one thing. I was like, yeah, double paralysis here. But the crit... I mean, it's fine. We should get the ground on now. Should be more than enough. The sun's still up, so it's all going to be good. <laughs> Power flinching as well, yeah. Oh, man. I think this guy's like catching up with Felix. He's uh, he's definitely got all the, the good techs. <sighs> Imagine if Groudon had heat crash. <laughs> he had yeah he had Shininja, but I I don't think he's brought it to iPod, So um, okay, what are we gonna do? I mean we need to double the Coco here, one hundred percent. Let's go over here. Okay. I mean, we could tailwind as well, which might be quite nice. Uh, but then the, the, the stacker could trick room. Let's just double Coco and try and get it. Okay, I don't really mind that at all. I don't really know what you're wide guarding. Uh, I guess, okay, the, the, the discharge. Uh, paralysis and okay we don't we don't flinch this time and we get it okay so <clears throat> now we got Groudon to come in and just yeah do, do stuff to this thing that is a nasty Coco though <laughs> everything paralyzed and still faster than stack attacker let's get rid of its item and uh, yeah, we'll just overheat once again. Like the stacker could trick room here. Could trick room. Okay, so we get the knockoff. Is it? It's not enough safety goggles. Yeah. It's gone trick room. Um, hmm. So. 
think we might need to sack sacks off Xerneas um, and just protect. Hopefully, we get the protect off with Volcarona. And when we get Incineroar back in, I know it's all gone wrong, isn't it? It's all <laughs> gone wrong. I don't know what else. Okay, so we get the protect. We can totally win now. But I mean, in the position we were in, we didn't really have a lot to shut down the, the trick room option. So, um, it's very risky, this next. I think, well, oh, right, okay. Hmm. Where was the beast boost as well? Was that, I'm just going to see, where was it? Defense, okay, so that's better than attack. Mm. Okay, let's bring it in Cinema. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Just needs one power, I know. And as long as it's not on Incineroar. I think we can stall out the trick room now. I think we can do it. So if we switch into Groudon now, fake out. As long as we don't if, as long as Incineroar doesn't get faked out. Yeah, this is like the thing. Like as long as we get this, as long as we don't. Touch wood, we're not fully paralyzed. Okay. Then we should have like two turns left, right? Um what are we looking at? Two turns, yeah. So we switch in Volcaron now. Protect Groudon. Get NC back in. Fake out. Yeah, it's like we've still got to get that last fake out again and not be paralyzed. So it's still not guaranteed. And this could miss, which could. Yes, yeah, so we didn't want that to miss. I mean, if it did, it wasn't going to hurt because it just means we get. Another turn to just sack Volcarona and Incineroar. Um, so yeah, get Inc in now, and it can't protect. So we've got fake out as long as we can fake out here. <laughs> this is what it comes down to. I don't know. Do you fake out? I yeah. I mean it's minus two as well, and if not, then I go fire punch because that should get it. I'm not risking the price of his blades in this. Oh! <laughs> this should just proc a berry though. Yeah, okay, instant it one survives. <laughs> this is the last turn of Trick Room. So this is alright. Guard unflinched as well. Oh, hilarious. It's been one of those matches. Okay. Uh, good game to my opponent, and massive props for bringing all the uh, <laughs> all the memes. Kings Rock or Razor Fan Coco with Discharge, Power Flinch, Flinching with Grass Knot, just doing all the stuff right. Fair play, fair play. <laughs> yeah, this guy is definitely the real Flinch Squad, 100%. Massive props. That was a fun match. It was kind of nervy, but um, it's uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good stuff. I remember a tournament years ago when um, I think it was 2014 when X and Y first came out, and it was like these local events where you could go to qualify for like a London tournament. And I went to one of the qualifiers. I think it was in Cribs Causeway in Bristol, and. Um, I think like round three, I got paired up with this young, young kid, and um, he's playing Talonflame. And what was it that he hit into? I think it was my Garchomp. I was like, I've locked the game now. The the game is locked. I just rock slide and win. And he's Talonflame. I'm sure it flare blitzed into my, uh, flare blitz of yeah, flare blitz into my Garchomp, and uh, it flinched me. And I was like, what? How? <laughs> How? And yeah. Turned out he had um, King's Rock, and that was like enough for him to to win the game. It was a very sad day for me. It was pretty salty afterwards. 
But uh, never mind. King's Rock can do stuff. Imagine if this guy played Scarf Lando and was Rockside. <laughs> oh man. That is the meme to play, the ultimate meme. Come on, let's find an opponent. Pretty good game. Let's find an opponent. So, yeah. And it's Pokemon week. Like, is it next week or is Pokemon week in March? I'm like really confused about when it is. But I've been hearing murmurings and I know we mentioned it last week on the stream. And I'm getting a little bit excited about it. But in my head it's next week. But a part of me is saying like it's definitely towards the end of March. 27th of February, so it is like next week, the end of next week, right? When's that? Like, yeah, like next Wednesday. Excellent. Excellent. So not long at all. We've got Ice Bullet. A great name. The name's Ice Bullet. Punch as hard as ice. Um, and you're on, how about Heatwave King's Rock, Togekiss Strap? Now that's a nice one. That's a nice one. So we've got Ice Bullet. Uh, he is playing a team of Tapu Lele, Amoongus, Lunala, Incineroar, Serena, and Kyogre. So, mm, Lunala and Kyogre. I like this combination a lot. It's it's a kind of a pairing that you don't see too much of now in the format. We really need uh, Incineroar in this match. I don't feel Volcarona's... Mm, no, it's not really doing too... I like the Tailwind could be super nice. Definitely. Um, and the Rage Power Support is really, yeah, really good. Um, but Double Fire versus the Kyogre, and it means bringing Groudon as well, it's not ideal. Um, the Serena is going to be a problem. I'm going to bring Coco. And I'm so sorry. I it's Atom, thank you so much for the follow. I think that is who it was, but I, as I say, here we go, I'm gonna see. Yes, Itam, thank you so much for the follow, my friend, and I hope you enjoy the stream of this this evening. Thanks for coming. Bye, I am, I'm gonna go with Coco, Xerneas, uh, Groudon, and Incineroar, so we'll go with that before I run out of time. Definitely throwing some Thunder Waves with uh, Togekiss, 100%. You could even skill swap it onto something else to take advantage, like skill, hmm, it would be a long process, but if you could skill swap the Siren Grace onto like Scarf Landorus, that would be pretty nice. I mean, <laughs> yeah, with something like Faint next to it, so you could just bust through any wide guards and just flinch everything. Or like, yeah, even skill swap onto like Aerodactyl. Just the constant rock size would be great. So we're going to see Tapu Lele and Lunala come out for my opponent. Um, hmm. We know it's not Scarf Lele, which is nice. We could light screen, we could electro web. Uh, I'm going to light screen because I feel like the Lunala probably sets up a tailwind. Ah, uh, it's not that easy though, uh, if it sets up a tailwind, we need to Vault Switch in. I think, yeah, I'm going to Vault Switch on the Lunala getting Zero in, and I'm just going to protect the Zenus. And Scott, I just played that guy, he misplayed to give me the game. Protect on the last turn of Tailwind, allow me to bring a Scott Fogger. Nice! Nice, so he has got the Tailwind, there we go, there's some good information for us. And Scott, if we bump into each other, that would be amazing. And any, anyone else that's playing on the battle spot tonight, it's always good to, to bump into you guys. Okay, so we'll get the Incineroar in. Um, let's see what... There's a Tailwind from the Lunala. I kind of want to delay the... Uh, come on, Zoom in Blast into the Tapu Koko slot. Incineroar not going to enjoy it too much, but I mean... Hmm, yeah, definitely not going to enjoy it very much at all. We need to get Xerneas off the field so we're able to take... Another moon blast that fairy aura boost is not doing us any favors. Let's go knock off into Lunala and um, bring in Coco. Because at least Coco's got the sash. <laughs> it 
in Johnny in a narrator voice. I could almost see the future, anarchy, a world in flames. And damn souls, I create a monster. And I became the very people who wanted to see this world burn. That's what the future I see for Yori. <laughs> I wonder if it's just going to keep on being used in the Ultra series. I would imagine it will. Strongest Coco in the world, always hanging on. And a Moonblast, yeah. We should take this one though now without the Fairy Aura boost and it should pop our berry. Yeah. Okay, now we'll be able to get rid of the Lunala. Um, but still a bit awkward because the Kyogre comes in now, we've tr got to try and maneuver Groudon in uh, to overwrite the rain and preserve Incineroar I think at the same time because Incineroar is quite important for us as long as this electric terrain is up on the field and the, the Lele is up in front because yeah at least then we've got the fake out Geomancy turn if you want to go down that route uh, okay so we'll switch in Groudon we might have to sack Groudon here and just protect Tapu Koko yeah Rip uploading to YouTube. I know it's super, super annoying. I like. I wish they would just they would just change the copyright on it. I have no idea what conflict it has, or just allow the video to go up. Like it's every time. It's super annoying, and I don't know how Aaron and some of the other YouTubers got around it. Every time I upload it, I like it's just like blocked worldwide. So there's a water spout. I'm going to enjoy this too much. We might lose Groudon here. Yeah. It might have been better to actually... Hmm. Okay, let's bring in Incineroar. Because the Kyogre, I think... Oh thing is, it could be the Serena in the back as well, but I feel like the Kyogre wants to probably switch out right now over anything, so we can get its rain back in. Um, okay, we'll bring in Xerneas and switch out Coco. Yeah, there's a Kyogre switch. Okay. That's definitely not the worst, but I mean, the next turn... It still gets a bit dicey where the Lele probably switches up for the Kyogre when the Sino kind of takes us out. Oh, and the Lele going for Protect, so revealing that is interesting. So when pittering out now, so that's ideal. Um, we'll get Coco back in and just protect Zen. I can't imagine the Incineroar taking out our Incineroar though. I imagine just the Coco to the, the Kyogre to come straight back in now. It's whether or not the Co the, the Kyogre's scarf, but I can't imagine with Tailwind support that it is. Although the Lele is not scarfed, so hmm, kind of indicates there Moonblast. Okay, it's his own flare bits. Ah, double up. Okay. I don't mind that too much. Because we can definitely Volt Switch out on Incineroar and Geomancy. And get an, an, an Intimidate up onto the, uh, on that pause in Incineroar, which should allow us to take the, the double up. I'm hoping we can take it. Still the sun is up, which is not ideal. The Moonblast is still going to do a lot. Well, I guess we get the Geomancy up before it can... Before it can Moonblast. And now we should be in a decent-ish position to kind of close this one out. So Incineroar is likely in Moonblast range now. Esis, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Thanks for joining us this evening. I hope you're well. Having a good day. 
and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the stream with us this evening. There's a Psy Shock and a Flare Blitz going to double up into the zone, but here we are able to take it, so that's that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I think we need to move last and fake out the Lele. But like I said, I think we should be able to kind of close this one out. Lele probably protects this turn, right? Yeah, I could do that, Nick. Like the Dazzle, I'm just worried in case it doesn't pick up the Incineroar. And then that would allow my opponent like to really close out the game. At least this way, it's a bit more secure. I know we've got to deal with the Kyogre when it comes in this next turn, which probably does take um, but one of the things I could potentially do to alleviate that a little bit is um, oh it's probably got the Z move that's the other thing this Kyogre hasn't it hmm and we definitely don't get hmm I mean even if it does it's not the worst I'm going to switch in Corpo and just protect because I want the fake out support once again. Uh, and he is sashed with Lele. That makes a lot of sense. Mm. I did wonder that. An ogre is scarfed. Okay, so this play makes way more sense then. <clears throat> oh, you guys give me all the tips. So yeah, sacking Coco now is the right thing to do so we can get the fake out in, get rid of the, the ogre. It's gone, Origin Pulse. Expecting the big dazzle hit, the big Moonblast hit. Um, okay, Moonblast, that's fine. Um, and well, I know I, I wasn't Sasha when I protected the previous turn. Yeah, hundred percent. I totally agree with that. Now we have to. I think we yeah fake out and moonblast the Kyogre. Well, I do want to dazzle. Yeah, because then we get it the next turn, and then we chip the Lele. Although. Yeah, the Lele just attacks, and if it's Psy Shocks here, yeah, this is the, the worst case scenario, because then we're left. Yeah. Yeah, and we're just going to go down now, which is why Moonblast probably would have been better, even though I don't think Moonblast probably got the Kyogre anyway. Yeah. <sighs> Two misses. Hmm. Do we rely on Origin Pulse missing twice? I think that's a best play because Lele's got way more. Yeah, miss. Nah, no miss. No miss. Rude. Rude. Okay, good game to my opponent. Uh, we could have played that a lot better, I think. But Ice Bullet. Yeah. Uh, I think a Moongus in that match would have been a lot better. Is a kind of soak up to the Kyogre stuff than the Groudon was. Like getting the sun up and taking so much damage was like, we were so pinned at that point. Uh, we didn't really have too many other options there other than sacking something that was already on the field. Um, but I think the turn where we protected, what did we do? I think we protected Coco and brought in Groudon where we should have let Coco, Groudon go down there and then get Incineroar, Xerneas onto the field. Yeah, and I think that would have been better because then we have a lot more momentum uh, with the fake out. Geomancy going into that next turn um, and letting both go down there would have been probably the, the better play. In hindsight, I think. So we'll move on now. It's been alright this evening. So I think hopefully we can bring the Volcarona a little bit more. I do like it a lot. But it is just a kind of, just an updated Zern Groudon team, isn't it? I'm swinging on my chair again. 
Alright, hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent. I will make sure that the Shininja team on Thursday is all ready for all these lovely viewer battles that we're going to do. And Inspira, thank you so much for the host, my friend, and I hope you enjoy the stream with us all this evening. We've got an next opponent, Augustine, is uh, running a team of Xerneas, Ivalto, Incineroar, Landorus, Tapu Fini, and Amoongus. So, that Preston, that Preston squad. Um, okay, so, I know this team doesn't like too much Xerneas, uh, so I'm going to go Zern. We've got to be a little bit careful about the Eveltal for sure. Um, but I think the Volcarona kind of alleviates a lot of this matchup quite nicely. Um, got to be careful around the, the, the Haze Finny though, that's the other thing. Um, might be better going in Cinero. And then we definitely need our own Xerneas check. So I think Amoongus here. Yeah, of everything like, we haven't really brought Amoongus too much tonight. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Hectic team, it is. Demon Ring. I'm very well, my friend. I'm very well. I hope you are as well. I'm having a great day. I hope like you see you enjoy the stream with us this evening. It's great to have you here as well. Uh, Nick got a new mon on my team, so I'm also online playing right now. Nice. Okay, Nick. So it might be three weeks in a row we bump into each other. Well, you have to. You have way too much of a thing for Salt Fest. <laughs> I know, right? If you're a King's Rock Coco, you could just flinch the Hayes Finny. This is very true. King's Rock Coco. <laughs> I'm wondering if I've even got one in my box. I probably have. That we could just go and put on. Just for... Just, yeah. I might just do this for uh, Thursday. Just come out with all the memes. But I'll have actually serious teams. Because I'm guessing some people might want to play kind of serious stuff. Um, hmm. Let's just dazzle and... I guess fake out Zern. We'll, we'll probably get Icy Winded or Nature of Madness or Haze might come out, I guess. But it's like it's never really a good idea to J-Mancy in front of a Finny. Nature's Madness. Are you going? It's a Zern. Yeah, so it's going to try and get us with the, the Moonblast. Um. Okay. Switch him to Amoongus and I mean it could Geomancy here but it's like the Finny's not going to haze is it? The opposing Finny's not going to haze so we could Geomancy and Flare Blitz the opposing zone but then we could see an Icy Wind here as well which is never going to be ideal. Um, I'm going to bring in Amoongus and I'm going to use him Nah, I'm gonna just knock off. I'm just gonna knock off the Affinity and get rid of its item. Yeah, let's do that. Adubus, how are you doing? From California, hoping to win some Flint Squad Tees to rep out there. That would be amazing if you can win. We have a huge competition going on at the minute as well. All you need to do to enter, there's like a lot of swag up for grabs. It's like a hat, water canister, like three T's and some other stuff that I'm going to throw in. So if you want to enter it, all you need to do is go across to flinchclothing.com and then sign up to the mailing list. And on the 2nd of March, I'm going to do the draw for the big prize giveaway, which should be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and Yoshi vs. Joshua, I hope you are well. Having a good evening and I uh, hope you enjoy the stream with us tonight. So we get rid of that wiki berry. Um, and we do see the uh, Geomancy from the zone. Let's just clear Smogged because we can't put anything to sleep. Um, and let's just U turn out onto the Finny because I can imagine the Finny is going to go out for the Incineroar. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Oof, yeah. Oof is the word, Nick. Wow. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I think there's only one way to do this now. Nah, it's not Specs, it's just Geomancy, but it just must have Psy Shock Moonblast. Which is pretty, pretty scary. Psy Shock for those, um, for those Amoonguses. I know, right, Nigel? <laughs> Tackling those un unexpected mushrooms, just in a big way as well. I really need to tech rage the Xerneas, but I'm, I'm afraid in case it actually protects here. I need fake out. I'm gonna have to go for it, I think. I just launch it in. If we can get it, we can kind of pull ourselves back into this game. This is Incineral. Yeah, we're probably gonna see the protect. Which is never good. Makes a lot of sense. I mean, we're gonna get some damage onto it. Probably put it in range for a precipice blaze to take it down. The only problem is I want to try and keep um, Incineroar around, so I've got Incineroar Zone for the late game. <laughs> Jurassic Park all the way. Luigi, how are you doing, my friend? I hope you're well. Ah, okay, we'll probably see the... I need to protect Groudon, but is that too obvious and you just fake out in Moonblast and Cinnamon? Like it's so risky not protecting here because the fake out Moonblast is so obvious into it, but it's so obvious that I just protect Groudon at the same time. So it would make a lot of sense if you want to keep the pressure on to fake out Moonblast Incineroar. Um, I'm going to protect Groudon, I'm going to chicken out. I'm good, hope you are too. I am very good my friend and I'm pleased, all the better for you being here. Are we playing in the Matrix now? We are, yes. Red pill, blue pill. Which would you like? There we are. It's gonna happen. Let me take this back. And Lava Burst, thank you so much for the horse, my friend. And uh, I hope you're well. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the stream with us this evening. <laughs> However long you can stick around. Yeah, and it's uh, <laughs> Luigi. It's the year 3019. If you hadn't heard. Uh, okay, so I think. We can probably get away with heat turning this turn out onto Incineral uh, and Precipice Blades. But that should be enough to get the zone. And even if Groudon. Well, we take a Moonblast. We definitely do. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we don't take a Moonblast. Man. Yeah, I'm definitely playing the faster Groudon in this team, not the uh, the more bulky one, like I thought I was. The best second player in the world has arrived. 100%. <laughs> Zekrom's so good. Can we get Zekrom to win a major in Ultra? I'm pretty confident it can do that. We're so screwed now though, we're so screwed, but Lava Burst, welcome to the stream, and everyone, including myself, so happy to have you here this evening. 
Right, Finney coming back in. Just, I mean, yeah. I'm so surprised my Groudon didn't take that, though. I really was like... Unless it's Modest Xerneas, and then there's definitely a roll. And David, how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're well. Having a great day, having a great evening, and I hope you enjoy the stream with us tonight, mate. We are just playing... Well, we're playing a little variation on Justin Burns's, um Australia, Oceania uh, international team with the Volcarona, the Zerndon team, which I really liked. It's not the exact team because I don't know what exactly he played, but um, it's it's kind of close to it. Now, does the Zernius protect you, or do you just kind of? Hmm. I wonder if you protect it. Like a player that we could make, and a mistake I think my opponent makes is if they protect Zernius here and try to get an icy wind off, expecting that they can't stop the Geomancy. So I'm gonna make the play expecting that they protect zone and we get the, nah, they don't do it. They're not gonna go for it, so that's that's it. Yeah, they just need to deny it. Australia doesn't exist, Johnny, is that right? And Nigel, yeah. I've just read that now, but that was exactly my thinking. I think it was our only way to win. If they make a, if they make a little mistake there, then then we can, we can come back and totally sweep up. But, um, nah, they don't make a mistake. They play well. They play well and they win. So very good game to my opponent. Uh, we've got one, like at least room for one more, if not two more. Easy, easy. I would say I could stay past nine, but I have, I have. Um, I need to I'm meeting up with Marty after this to do some prep for Khans. So um that is on the cards unfortunately. But longer stream Thursday, which would be a lot of fun. And like I say, it's gonna be view battles Thursday, which would be which would be incredible. So that'll be great. Patrick, how are you doing? Back in my office now. I'm almost convinced that Australia doesn't <laughs> exist. <laughs> like it didn't happen. I hope you had a good time besides the, the Pokemon though, Patrick. And um, I've been enjoying Almiron for for Newcastle as much as I've seen him. He's only made a, brief, a few brief appearances. Here we go. Here's the man himself. We've got Will. <laughs> Good luck, my man. And he's actually playing a mirror. So here we go. And yes, Nigel, Marty is going to Cannes. It's going to be exciting. I'm really excited for him. Um, okay, so we've got Will playing the team of Pokerana. So he already knows what he's locked into. Okay, so we just need to outwit him if we can. I don't know if we will be able to. And uh, David, I'm not playing in cans, unfortunately. No, I won't be my friend. It would be nice to, but I will be. Uh, I'll be playing the IC instead, and potentially streaming it on Sunday. So <laughs> Nigel's sick of seeing mirrors <laughs> and moon. Okay, uh, right. I'm gonna go with. Hmm. Now, I don't want to, do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? I really want to do that. I don't really want to do that at all. But I do want to bring, I do want to bring this thing. I do want to bring this thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to go down a standard route. I just can't not lead Incineroar Zone. And I really feel bad that I've not brought a Moongus, but I feel it's not ideal, like not bringing it. Pinko, how are you doing my friend? I hope you're well. Thanks for dropping by tonight with us all. Luigi, the two XY mirrors from last review episode <laughs> plays of that team for next week. I know, right? Right, so we're seeing the Volcarona, we're seeing the Groudon lead. I wonder what the Volcarona's got on it. Has it got Whirlwind? Has it got the red card? Could have a host. A whole host of things on it. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll play a super passive and just do this. You might see, we might 
Yeah, the guard I'm going to switch. Is Vol Incineroar going to come in? Yeah. I wonder if we see a Tailwind now set up from Volcarona. Ah, oh, just to protect. Nice, nice and steady there from Will. And now he's in a really good position to get the Tailwind up. see what we can do. I feel like I'm going to lose Volcarona here. I feel like he just goes Z-Fire into that. Okay, so he's doing that and then yeah, we lose. Yeah. Hmm. So there's no, yeah, there's no way we take that at all. I don't think I got anything on my team that could take that. Right, so hmm, still got access to that overheat, which is like really, really dangerous. Let's try something. I need to try and create a little bit of room because at the minute there is nothing that I can do. Tailwind, Incineroar is going to pivot out and we're going to see Groudon come in for sure. Yeah, Will's just playing this super nicely. momentum swing from Will here is just ridiculous like the the pin pressure with the Volcarona lead um, oh, he's just playing it super well bringing in the Incineroar that next turn and then now getting in the Xerneas yeah um, I mean we could do we could do this and we could do this uh, it's just I can't really allow can't allow the Xerneas to get set up that's the only thing I'm gonna go hmm yeah okay we'll try this we'll try this yeah <clears throat> only thing we can hope is an overheat miss into Groudon or somehow we survive. Because I know the Groudon is... It should be bulky enough anyway. It just might not be bulky enough to take a plus two modest Moonblast. But it might be able to take... Ah. Uh, okay. I'm going to see a whirlwind or a roar. Yeah. But I mean, we get the tech rage off into this opposing Xerneas, so we should take down their Xerneas. <clears throat> Which is not a bad return, even though we lose our Geomancy. Um, if we can definitely take down their Xern here, then it's a real, it's a decent return. Yeah, okay. Because we've still got our Xern, we've still got our Groudon. Yeah. And now we get Incinero away. Which is decent enough. Hmm. Now, Incinero coming in? Or Groudon? 
So you still gotta worry about that overheat potentially on that Volcarona. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you a little bit, Luigi. Like, the Z-Move's still really strong on Groudon. In Type Heart, who plays Shell Shockers? I haven't even heard of it. Don't! No, I, I'm honestly, I will check it out though. I wanna, I, I'm intrigued to know what it is. Uh, we have got the fake out that we can make use of here. Um, I think we could burn fake outs. We could trade fake outs and do this. Do this. I'm worried about that Volcarona though. As the Incineroar. Yeah, we're gonna see another heat for sure. But do we take it? Do we take it? That's a question. I'm kind of confident we might. Nah. <laughs> no way. Okay. No way. Okay. Sunlight does fade. I mean, it's still not completely over, but it's still not like because we still got a grad on in the back. But hmm, maybe. We can try some stuff. Groudon coming straight in. We're going to see the Apostle and Incineroar just go Flare Blitz, I think, into Zen. Oh, Snarl. That is not what we need. I tell you what we do need though, we need some Precipus Blades misses from Will. Or a big burn, a big bad burn from a big bad cat into this Groudon, whatever kind of animal it is. Burn! Oh Will, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh Will. <laughs> oh that is, that is, yeah, I, I mean. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> uh, no, my Volcarona that I'm using this, so there's the dual um, Z move on there, so I've still got the. Okay. He's getting around that, uh, that, that burn. We'll get the knockoff onto the Cyril Michael Berry going there, Snarl. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, Johnny, I mean, really, it's only natural, the outcome. <laughs> I think Will's going to be alright, though, with that, potentially, with the, um, yeah, you're kind of relying, though, on the Moonblast not, okay, yeah, the Snarl now, and then the Sword Stance, I, it puts him straight back into this game. We need to take this down with this Moonblast, which is not going to do, and blatantly got a berry. Yeah. We need a ton of Precipice Blades misses here, and I don't think it's going to happen. Nah. Will's like, I don't even care about a burn. I don't even care. What burn? What burn? No burn. Okay, there's the Flare Blitz, and this game's over. The Snarl just coming in so clutch there as well. Um, just not allowing us to get any momentum back with a, a second Geomancy. Super well played, Will. And uh, it was a pleasure bumping into you, my friend. You've shown everyone how to lead with this team in the mirror and just like keep the pressure on and really position yourself super well. So take note, friends, because I know I am. And yeah, Citrus Berry Luigi on Volcarona, super nice, super interesting. Well, well played, my man. <laughs> that burn. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm sitting here like, the burn could help. And then you got Sword Stance, you bust out the Sword Stance, so it didn't matter. But nah, extremely well played, my man. Really good. Come on Thursday, I'd love, I'd love a rematch. I would love a rematch. But guys, I have another, um, I have an, a, a, another engagement this evening, so I'm, I'm gonna call it a night there. But uh, it's been an amazing stream. Uh, Will, I led exactly the same way as you did when I played Vulture in the Mirror. <laughs> That's the way to do it. It's the way to do it. A hundred percent. It's like, I mean. I, there's just no getting around that Volcarona pressure for this team. It's really difficult, and you kind of just highlighted that perfectly. So, 
yeah, you did um, you did amazing. But um, thank you so much for coming on, and uh, we'll have to do it again on Thursday. Um, but yes, guys, just to remind you all, so we are doing viewer battles this Thursday, seven seven p.m. UK time. It'll kick off. Um, if you're around, it would be amazing to see you. We'll play lots of matches. Um, we'll hang out, have a lot of fun. It's been really good fun tonight. I've really enjoyed it with you all. So thank you to each and every one of you that's come out tonight. It's been amazing. And uh, we might do some crazy backdrop stuff for Thursday as well. Uh, we'll see if I can wangle anything. And Johnny, it was lots of amazing.